Hey guys, Desert Magic here, and ha, move the cards from the last opening. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's open another box. Spoiler alert, I pulled an Urbrask. Oh, oh my gosh. I noticed people do tend to watch these in order. I can't imagine why they wouldn't. Oh my god, that is one slippery and oddly shaped box. Oh my gosh, I just realized that was stuck up through here. That's funny. See, the reason I didn't get like a million dollar pull is because I didn't do this last time. That, right there, is how you pull the good cards. You gotta, you gotta put the little thingy in. Alright, let's start with the middle row, because the middle row is always on fire! Oh, Merge on Skate, love that card. Uh, Mark Mutiny, darn. Malfigor. Hmm, never heard of that, it looks neat. And, uh, I'm checking the uncommons, but I won't necessarily show them. Alright, next pack, we're speed opening this. Uh, Wing Shards, that's a cool card. Oh, Serum Powder, there we go, that's a nice little card. I don't think it's above 10, but it's cool. Okay. It's, uh, it's very odd, you guys should look up how it works, it's very unusual. But, ha, huh, read the card right now, also, ain't nobody got time for that. Virulent Swipe and Hypersonic Dragon, that sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I got an Azorius Charm, that's kinda cool. Ooh, it's hard to go down the middle column, but we're gonna do it. I already said we're gonna do it, so we're gonna do it. Alright, ooh, we got a Foil Genesis Hydra. That's a foil rare. That actually might be worth some right there. Uh, then we got a Kokusho the Evening Star. That's actually not bad either. Pretty, uh, oh, and a Mishra's. There we go. Uh, pretty good pack. Pretty good pack. But we're going to need a lot of pretty good packs because this set isn't amazing. I mean, the box EV is about $298, uh, 250 on a worst case scenario. Netcaster Spider. That's not bad. Knight of the Reliquary. Not very good there. Um,. I mean, that's why I'm opening it. I think the singles are worth more than sealed. By the way, if you buy them on eBay today, 8% cash back. That's about 56 bucks for, I think, a case. And you can pick it up for, like, what is it going for, like, six ninety, seven ten, somewhere in that range, I think. Not bad. Uh, Carvin Karyatid. Didn't know there was other Karyatids, but that's not the good one. Uh, <laughs> Scourge of Valkus. And nothing in the uncommon slot. Whoops, almost grabbed the wrong one. I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take these out. There we go. And elusive spell fist, cool card there. And Jugin the Rising Star. I think that one's worth a little bit. Um, oh, Sarah Angel. Oh boy, that hasn't been printed to death. I mean, this is iconic masters. Is kind of the point. <clears throat> Looks like the dude from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, another emergent scathed. Yay. Uh, Stalwart Avon, that was just printed, and Primeval Titan, there we go, we got some money, alright, I like that, well, the middle was okay, but can the right side beat it, I'm gonna say yes, because I need money, uh, we've got Distortion Strike Foil, and Kaiga the Tide Star, oh boy, more, uh, Kamigawa Dragons, or whatever, hey, which one, oh, I'm going to the right side, I forgot, for a second there. Oh, Heat Ray! I actually like this. This is printed in M14, though, but that is a classic card. Emeria Angel, pretty cool card. Not worth a ton of money, but still pretty cool. Oh, and a Johnny's Pride Mate. Oh, I can't wait to draft this. This is such a good set. A lot of my favorites in here. Balagad Scorpion. Okay, and Path of Bravery. I need a path to some money. Although my vendor did cut my order again, which is weird because everybody's trying to back out of their orders. Not sure what went on there, but uh, considering the value, I don't know if I'll order anymore. Savageborn Hydra Foil, that's kind of nice, little foil rare there. And uh, Civic Sky Swallower. Kind of was an okay card, but I think they just printed it in uh, like MM something. And oh, I already see it. Jesse and Thief. Just kidding, I'm more excited about Mana Drain! There it is! A $100 bill in Fantasy World where people will pay that much for it. That is awesome, though. Okay, you guys are going to have some kind of aneurysm if I don't go get a sleeve, so I'm going to go get, like, the nicest sleeve ever. By the way, okay, who doesn't have this, okay? I'm not the only one, am I? <laughs> Here, we'll put it in one of these. Those are nice. There we go. Mana Drain is going in a sleeve. A really, really old sleeve from an unknown brand. There we go. 
and just for you guys, it's going in top loader too. So, can we pull a foil mana drain? Hmm. Now, I'm not sure what, like, actual eBay price on this. I know retail is $99.99, you know. But what it's really going for, I'm not sure. And buy list price, I'm not sure. But it's so high, I wouldn't buy list it, obviously. I mean, like, $3 shipping, whatever. I mean, who cares? Alright, what's in the next one? Oh, a foil radiant fountain. I have a play set of foils of these, but you can never have too many. I love this card. And Anger of the Gods, not worth anywhere near what it used to be because of probably Sweltering Suns. That's a darn good card, though. I mean, it's, it's just like a almost board wipe for red. For three, can't beat that. These are really thick, holy cow. Okay. Guard Duty, cool card there. And, ooh, Supreme Verdict. Ooh, I like that one. I don't like the deck it goes in, but I like the card. Uh, I think 2013, uh, some kind of world tournament, some uh, garbage deck running that actually won. Shouldn't have. Uh, wild Size and Bloodgast. Oh no. Well, that was it for money on the right side. <laughs> but uh, these cost me about, I don't know, depends when I buy them, who I buy them from, whatever, but they basically cost between like 133 and 142. I think I paid probably 141. Uh, so a hundred dollar card goes a long way. Phantom Tiger, and, ooh, Avacyn, Angel of Hope, there we go. Uh, I mean, she's a mythic, I don't think she quite breaks twenty bucks, but still, that's a good card. My uncommons have been just terrible compared to the last box, retroactive spoiler alert. I got a spoiler alert for you, don't watch these in reverse order. Battle Rattle Shaman, <laughs> love that. And, ooh, Ancestral Vision, I think that's about 25, dang, pulling some money out of this box, holy cow. Oh, and they're spread all over, I'm excited to get to the rest of this. Um, there is absolutely no reason to believe that because there's money in that part of the box, that there's money in that part of the box, but, oh my god, a foil Mishra's Bobble, I legitimately don't know what that's worth, that has got to be like... I mean, 25 at least, I would think. I mean, come on, it's a foil Mishra's bobble. I'm going to put this in a, a thick sleeve. There we go. Oh, what do you know? Got a top loader. Oh, wait, do I? I just got stuff laying around, man. Oh, that one's got a sleeve in it. Whatever, well, I'll, I'll, I'll top load it later. It's a pretty good pull, though. Oh, uh, what's the rare? Glimpse the Unthinkable. That's, uh, that's like 15 bucks. Shoot. <laughs> Swords to Plowshares in the same... Pack! Oh my god! This is some money right here. This is gonna pay for like two more box openings. I would have opened them anyway. But but it's gonna pay for them. Ooh, Thrill Kill Assassin. That's a really good card. And there goes the monetization. And Obnixilis, the uh, really crappy mythic. I think he's like three bucks. Awesome. Oh man. Will there be a foil mana drain? You guys saw when I pulled a Foil Tarmogoyf live on uh, stream, and then two days later pulled a Masterpiece uh, Force of Will. Hopefully you saw those videos. That was pretty awesome. So I have pretty good luck. Frost Links. Ooh, that looks nice. Looks better than the original print. And Spirit Monger. Oh, an Assault Formation. You know what? That card deserves it. Hate that card. Hate the deck. Hated everything about it. Alright. Ooh, another dragon. <laughs> Moonglove Extract. Cool card. And Oblivion Stone. Hey, that's flirting with about ten bucks. Um, it's a good card. I mean, it's pretty popular. Ooh, Sanguine Bond. There we go. Like that one. Uh, that's going to lower the price. Sanguine Bond got way up there. Well, I'm thinking of its inverse. Maybe Sanguine was the low one. But I think it was a rare, and now they uh, shifted into this one. Might be wrong, though. Alright, we've got Dragon Bell Monk, oh boy, dummy card, just was printed, and Fire Main Angel, cool. So, one more pack, ooh, Helix, one more pack, and the angel's flying away. <laughs> what is going to be in Elish Norn? Will it be in Elish Norn, with a foil Elish Norn behind it? I'm going to vote for yes. Leave your guess down in the comment section below. Nope, it's a foil ulcerate, ha, you were wrong. And... Oh, Horizon Canopy, there we go, that's some money, shoot. That's like the, isn't that the third or fourth most expensive in the dang set. So, I pulled almost nothing in the Uncommon slot, but hey, that is, boy, $300 box at least. 
I mean, I don't know the exact prices, but it seems like it adds up somewhere in that range. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to beat that. So, uh, I'll title this one something creative and probably upload it straight with no editing. So, yeehaw, one shot. I'll see you guys next video.